Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Rabinowitz, along with Joey Kaufman. We're at Ohio Stadium after Ohio State's thorough 56 to nothing dismantling of Western Michigan. This was domination from start to finish. Ohio State struggled at the beginning of the Akron game last week. They made a point of wanting to get off to a fast start. They did, and also had a fast middle and a fast ending. Um, this was, it, was, it wasn't perfect, but it was pretty close. Yeah, it was really close. and. For a change, it was a fast start by Ohio State, and this was sort of an issue for them all of last year, where they got off to these slow starts. It was certainly a, a thing against Akron. They had 21 points in the first quarter, the most they've had in an opening period since 2022, uh, since it went over Indiana. So it was certainly a good start for Ohio State. Will Howard started, started 10 of 10. They were just crisp early on really on both sides of the ball, because they got after Western Michigan as well. Cody Simon, who missed last week's game, sacks, gets a sack to, to force a three down in the first position. Really all around a great game for Ohio State. Yeah, uh, Western Michigan had three first downs on their first four plays and then one in their next 23 plays. Um, they got after that first drive, which ended with a missed field goal, it grazed, it grazed off the, the upright, um, the right upright. They one time they got the ball to the Ohio State 49 for one play, and that was it. They never got into Ohio State territory again. So, uh, you know, and second half, when a lot of the reserves were in, Western Michigan gained a total of five yards. We, I think, learned some things about this team, some things we knew last week. Jeremiah Smith was really good. Yeah. He continued to look really good. He had a 70 yard touchdown run or, or catch, but a lot of it was through uh, yards after the catch, 64 of those yards, in fact. The thing I felt like we learned was, was that was established, good receivers. The running game really, I think, asserted itself this week. Yeah, Quinshot Judkins had two 23-yard touchdown runs. He ran nine times for, I think, 106 yards. And that doesn't count an 80-yarder, in which he split the defense. Uh, two defenders pretty far downfield that he ran through, uh, but it was called back because of a holding call. <laughs> when, when Will Howard was asked about it, and the press, the post game press conference, you kind of, eh, I don't think that was legit. But actually, I, I think it might have been. But still, I mean, you saw what he can do today. You really didn't see it that much last week. But when you think about what he did today, along with Trayvon Henderson, who also played well, he had a touchdown run as well. Who didn't, right? James People had one. Will Howard had one. Um, yeah, Will Howard's touchdown run was the first by Ohio State starting quarterback since Justin Fields in wow. 2020. Wow. This De was Devin Brown did have a touchdown run last year against Penn State. Not um, a starter. Oh, was, it, was he in Penn State last year? It was at some point last year, uh, but he was not the starter. Yeah. Um, this was Ohio State's first shutout in exactly five years. I mean, just the September 7th, uh, 2019, the 42-0 win over Cincinnati. And they've come close so many times. How many times in the last couple of years did the team kick a field it's goal or get a garbage time touchdown? Last, and last November, Michigan State and Minnesota both kicked these 40-plus yard field goals to – <laughs> to assure right. that they got points of some variety. Right. And and again, the, the one field goal grazed the outside of the right upright. That was as close as they came, a 42-yard field goal. Um, you know, and Western Michigan gave Wisconsin a game last week. They were ahead in the fourth quarter against the Badgers. So, you know, Ohio State probably watched that game, obviously. They definitely watched that game. And they saw today, you know, Michigan goes down badly. Uh, Iowa loses, blows a lead, loses to Iowa State. Um, you know, uh, Notre Dame even loses to a Max school. Penn State struggled with a Max school, uh, Bowling Green. Uh, my wife's alma mater. <laughs> yeah, good. The Mac looked formidable in the noon and 3.30 windows. And you thought about that. I don't, you didn't think there would be any reason why Ohio State should have right. trouble against Western Michigan. But such were the vibes earlier in the day. And uh, there was no chance of an upset I mean, uh, it, here today. I mean, from the very first you know, series when Cody Simon had the sack and then Ohio State went right down the field. And it was just a really impressive, a really impressive performance. And you know, now they've got an off week. They would probably prefer to be playing and not, and just kind of build on this. But as they said, it's going to be an improvement week. It's not a bye week. They're not going to kind of view this as an off week at all. It's obviously they're not going to play on Saturday, but they're not going to coast. Yeah, they are getting two byes. So this is the, the first of, of two, uh, idle weeks during the season they'll get one in october as well it, it is unusual to get one this this early in the season and yeah. maybe not as ideal for a team that's, that's trying to, to ramp up and build some momentum and 
all that. And I was impressed with the play of some of the backups. I mean, Lorenzo Styles uh, really made a couple of really nice plays on special teams. He had a nice tackle uh, as a as a cornerback. Uh, Bennett Christian had a touchdown, long touchdown catch the tight end. Julian Sand got his first action. He threw that touchdown pass. Devin Brown looked, I thought, pretty good uh, for some of the time that he was out there. So I think there was a lot to like uh, from not just the starters, but the backups as well. Again, you give up five yards in the second half, so somebody's doing something right. Yeah, I think just putting a bookend on this, you have to admire and respect the way Ohio State took care of business. They jumped on it from the start. They, they really never made this a game on a day where a lot of top 10 teams like Notre Dame, Alabama struggled, Penn State, didn't always look impressive. They, they made this one, I think, run of the mill. And, and if you're an Ohio State fan, that's that's what you want. You want Ohio State to, uh, to make it look like just another day at the office. And, and they were crisp and they were they were good. And, and you can just see the talent on this team. I mean, it just oozes talent in every position. I mean, you look at those skill position players, Emeka Buka, Carnell Tate, Jeremiah Smith, obviously, both the running backs. And I thought the offensive of line, give them credit, playing again without Donovan Jackson, they decided to hold out again. He's probably their best offensive lineman. And the offensive line played a lot better than it did last week against Akron. Yeah, good good performance for the Buckeyes to win 56-0 over Western Michigan in week two. They complete the max sweep over Akron and Western Michigan. Do they get a they get a, some kind a, of trophy? A trinket? Some kind of trinket, yeah. That, that does it from the, the horseshoe. Let's go over the notes. I'm Joey Coffin. Thanks for watching.